Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So let's cover a few things dealing with your boy Drizzy and the whole beef and what's kind of going on lately. First order of business, we have DJ Scheme, which is XXX Tintashian's former DJ that performed at the venue. If we remember the venue that Schoolboy Q show got canceled at, that was co-owned by Drake. Drake made fun of Schoolboy Q not performing at that venue. Fast forward a little bit, here we are, DJ Scheme performed at that same venue, and what did he play? Of course, not like us. In Toronto. Yo, you hear how many people in the crowd singing along to Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> That got to eat up Drake, bro. In his own venue, the crowd is rocking heavy to not like us. Man, it's rough out here for your boy Drizzy, man. Did you know Drake's here tonight? I thought Drake was your homie. No? Drake's my homie. And since Drake's here, he's over here on the side. I'm gonna do this one for him. Who's dedicated to you? How come he don't want me, man? Next order of business, a lot of people feel like Drake should go back to the pop, man. Skip all this hip hop rap stuff, get back to the pop stuff, because that's what you're good at. Get out the lane of hip hop. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Man, I'm trying to figure out how you plan a white boy to stick the white boy on a nigga in Canada. How the fuck you playing him on the West Coast, man? What oh, the man. kind of nigga is you? Ah, oh, dog, I don't control this, man. It's just this is what I'm told to play. You know, I'm from LA. I wouldn't, I wouldn't play it if yeah, I was. You gotta, you gotta speak for you though. You gotta tell I, your boss. Hey, this I, a different culture with this shit. I told you. Don't be playing that shit over here on this. Hey. If we, come on, man. Hey, I feel you, you man. You gonna get some shit popped off. Oh, come on, man. It ain't that deep. I don't think it's that deep. But I man, feel you, though, you man. better keep that nigga off the air on the West, nigga. On oh, God in heaven. Okay, I'll let them know. Now, the next order of business is Rakim. We know Rakim, historic hip-hop figure. With Rakim... He was quoted doing an interview with Billboard, and in that interview with Billboard, he said the Kendrick Lamar and the Drake beef shed light on the difference between hip hop and the commercialized rap. He feels like Drake is not hip hop. He's never been. But a lot of new kids don't understand the difference between hip hop and rap. They're just mixing it all together. The hip hop fans that follow Rakim, Nas, all the, the historical hip hop figures, they're saying, hell no, nah. he is not hip hop. Rakim goes on, the battle put a lot of things in perspective because it showed the difference between real hip hop and mainstream hip hop. Younger artists now know that there's a difference. A lot of them didn't even understand that. They just listened to the majority, not knowing a lot of people don't categorize what they were hearing as real hip hop. So we got Rakim saying that Drake not hip hop. We got other people saying that, hey, Drake need to get out the hip hop lane or the rap lane, go back to the pop stuff, which you're good at. Go and do R&B, go back to singing melodies. Oh my God. Find Lil Yachty and, and, and team up. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to hear. And then we have the Not Like Us being played in Toronto, where people are loving it in his backyard. So what do you guys make of these current developments dealing with Drake? Put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.